We'd have to look at the, the charts that compare them. It's touching the 200 day. That guy's right. Kyle, Ben Kyle. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he's right. It wants to touch the 200 day. Crypto wants to make the maximum amount of pain for everybody. This is what I really feel is going to happen. Crypto is going to go to 20 and then crash even further. And the reason it's going to happen is because everybody's looking at the same line, the 200 day. You know that they're looking at it. So I think the max amount of pain is that it goes there, it bounces. Everyone thinks it's over and then it crashes below it. And then everyone's because they're all going to sell out. Crypto causes always the max amount of pain. That's what I'm saying. The amount that it moves <laughs> is such a massive number for it to move. Yeah, yeah but the whales 20, pushing 000. it is so easy. So at 20,000, maybe it was harder at 60, but at 20,000, they're like, F let's dump it. We'll get it back at 15 or 16 or whatever it is. I'm scaling it in at 22.5 right now. At 22, it's it's possible, de depending on where Cardano and Doge are, it's possible that I flip them over or I flip them over to Ethereum. Depending on how strong they are versus Ethereum, I'd have to check. At this point, I'm just seeing it as this is a Tesla ac accumulation. Uh, yeah, Tesla and Enphase. Look how strong it's been in all of this. We've had two consecutive quarters where... Yeah, but a lot of people had mad. great quarters. Apple had great quarter and it's still it, down. Yes, off the but top. It's, it's not the kind of quarters it's not the kind of numbers that that tesla's producing and it's also the price point you know their margins and their price point for their products do you want to be buying tesla over the next two years do you want to keep buying tesla over the next two years at three thousand dollars a share no I no no I, I didn't think i'd be buying it right now because technically it's still it's like four thousand dollars a share well, yeah it's like forty five hundred a share it's still expensive uh but it, here is uh, my counterpoint i think the market is uh, as we've learned stories matter and, and the future matters the market predicts like what's good they sort of predict what's going to happen in the future, right? So imagine a world where we do have recession. That's what everybody's thinking. Yeah. So if we are in a recession, all of a sudden, I think a lot of Wall Street is thinking, well, who the hell wants a $60,000, $70,000 car? That's the thought process. I'm not saying it's right. The Tesla's interest rates come up that they basically they're charging you more for the car the interest rate plus the car itself is more i think wall street is accurately projecting that if there is a recession people will want tesla's less and if they have one bad quarter not even like i'm telling you one bad quarter this stock is getting hammered to hell because we all know that it's a high flyer and we all expect 50 percent plus growth so these, this these is my counter to what you were saying that there is a possibility out there three months six months 12 months from now that wall street is saying there will not be enough people who want these cars that is a totally legitimate way of thinking but Tesla sells every car that it makes. Before they would see declining sales, they would just move the next people up in the list. But what yeah. happens a year from now when, once again, if we're in the middle of a recession, people have less money and what is it? Unemployment is higher. There there might be an issue and this is what they, they could be projecting out. I think it would take longer than that for that to play out is all I'm saying. Just their backlog and the yeah. amount of demand, right? Because if they're tanking, then what are the other OEMs? You know what I'm saying? Oh no, the other OEMs are garbage. If a real recession comes, Tesla survives, everybody else dies. The stock will crater. I'm just being the devil's advocate here that let me talk how the street talks because Tesla is a car company to them. So if they can't continue this 50% plus growth, if one quarter is a miss, all of a sudden that, that PE gets cut in half real fast, by the way. I don't disagree with you, but I don't think it's necessarily because of the numbers Tesla would push. I think if one bad quarter, one bad thing, the street's going to use that as an opportunity to punish Elon. Elon is not anyone's favorite. Is not anyone's favorite. Oh yeah, person. they definitely want to punish him too. And the FUD? Oh my God, CNBC FUD. FUD and, has oh been insane. God. And so that's again why I feel like the stock is artificially low. You know, we discussed this in our last video. Imagine if Elon had like the backing of the mainstream media and like the current administration. We know he doesn't. And we know any misstep at all is just like a way to hammer Make the stock. Paper. Absolutely. Right. If I had the conviction in other companies that I have in Tesla, man, it would be a whole different game. Yeah. Yes, I'm buying on the way down, but I can see the, the actual Wall Street narrative playing itself out over the next year that we are not going to like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this stock is more volatile than most other stocks. And so it's Bitcoin. It's be, You're right. It's Bitcoin. It is. It's <laughs> going to be a really bumpy ride on the way up to numbers are going to have to be just become completely undeniable. They're all good for us long term because I don't know that we would get these opportunities to buy. This is what I really think is going on. Anthony posted this. Morgan Stanley reports that retail traders are no longer the dominant volume compared to institutional investors in crypto on, coin, on Coinbase. So although this is specifically talking about crypto, I think this is what's honestly at play. This is now the institutions flexing. If the institutions go running for the hills, there's like nothing left holding up almost any of these stocks. Coinbase is what, $89 right now? It's $50. It really... Let's go. Can we see the chart on that? Look, it's up 9%, oh, it's up but it was- yeah, It's almost it, the price of Zillow. <laughs> it was $50. Like, look, like 52 week range that is here, so $40. Ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wish I had all the money in the world because there's so many good deals, but like I'm, I'm looking yeah. at two stocks really, let's face it. I'm looking at Tesla and Enphase, 
and everything else I consider sort of a mini distraction, but I do want to do something with this. Tesla's sitting at $728. Today I bought it at exactly $700. I just had a buy order in. It just hit. Nice. I, I woke up groggy in the morning and I saw like money being just flown out of my account. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've been tracking Tesla for a long time, so you guys got to remember it had a massive run. So this is a, two things I want to point out. The fact that we're sitting in this range, like sort of like this higher range between, I don't know, let's say 600 and 1200. That's not a bad place to be because me and you, Carlos, I don't know if you remember, we were here. We were buying now. <laughs> okay. But I do want to point out where it's been trading for a long time, 2016 even. It's tr sort of lives on the 200 week and it, it sort of was hanging around there for a long, long time. And now we went far away from the 200 week. Okay. Is it a possibility we return at around the $450, $500 range in this market? I would say that's that's a real possibility that people have to be prepared for. So It would be $2,500 a share, pre-split. Right. And it still, still a hefty price for a, a car company. I'm just going to say that here, obviously. it's It's been a wild ride for Tesla, and I, I think this has to play out for a little bit while longer in this range. So I don't expect the 1600 right away like we keep talking about. I think we still have to play out this sideways or maybe even touch this 200 week. So that could be a scary thing for some people. To your point, that might not happen till December, in which case it might actually end up being higher. Guys, join our Discord. Okay, so check Especially it out. We're on day, join, uh, yeah, this is more like a, a stock, a bloody stock market support group. Everyone should be there. A lot of people are chatting. We're all having a good time as we're losing money. So join the Discord. While we're here, if you are a Patreon member, you can see some of our purchases. This is Vitaly exchanging a thousand shares for 10 contracts of FUV. I had bought some Tesla the day before. Well, today, go to today's. These are my trades for today, this morning. Men phase at 131, 25 shares, picked up another 25. Picked at up 130, and then I Tesla. bought 20 shares of Tesla at 700 exactly. This is where we are right now. You know, Anthony C was pointing out, this looks like it's a double bottom. It was in, it was trading into this channel. And to your point, there's yeah. a point where it could converge. That would be at about $630. And you can see that it's had some support here at 630. Sort of touched this thing three times before it took off. The charts have been pointing to 600 all along that if there was ever a bearish moment, this would be the moment where it, mm -hmm. it goes down that low. I don't think that the market is trading on valuation numbers or forward PE. It's not trading on that anymore. It's just... It's very emotional right now. That's why a company can have great quarter and then it still tanks. You can have two consecutive quarters and it still tanks. It's just, it's not trading logically right now. Well, I wonder if it was always illogical, meaning like the last 10 years, there was so much free money that you could have bought any growth stock and just mm -hmm. piled into it and done well because the money was free, it was cheap, right? And I wish we were smarter in, in 2010 and took advantage of it better. So now 2020s, the money is no longer cheap. It's, it's becoming more expensive. So I can see why people are rushing out because look, if you're a billionaire, 3% is a lot of money of a billion dollars. That goes back to the chart that we showed. That like the free money. I'm talking about just like uh, just 3%. You, you can get as interest. That's It becomes a lot of money. They just have different considerations yep. than people like us, right? So I think what we're seeing now is the market throwing its weight around. Like it, it, it's really easy to get complacent in a, in a certain price and think it could never go below this price or even if it had historical support. Our money is like little splashes on top of a giant wave pool. If there was no institutions, you'll get back to the level you were in 2016. I don't know if you've paid attention to Palantir. It's like almost five, six bucks. There is retail participation there a lot. And mm -hmm. the problem there is that they're fickle. Oh, the retail, so as yeah. soon as the, the stock price of something falls below mm -hmm. a certain amount, even Tesla, I think this is going to happen. Retail is immediately out the door. It's like, oh, nope, I I've lost 50% of my money. I'm out. Uh, that's it. I'm gone. If that happens in Tesla, I think it's because people will see these massive gains that they have starting to be eaten away and they'll yeah. just try to lock in something. With Palantir, I think it would be just saying, I got to stop the bleeding. The dollar yeah. level is now gone. So congratulations to all of you guys who got grandfathered in at the, at the dollar. The dollar tier is now gone. On, and it's now a 4.99 a month up from 4.20 that is inflation right there right before yep. your eyes exclusive videos q and a's the discord server you have access to the to the trades channel where you can see our actual trades there's also a separate section there where you can look at some of the spreadsheets and pro projections for the stocks that we discuss on the channel and if you just want to support us obviously and you're not interested in any of that please support us at the 4.99 level it's a cup of coffee for you but it really helps us grow it as you can see the discord and the community is growing massively and some people are noticing actually you know like jeff and uh and pilot are all talking about how it's growing so we appreciate that but yes join us at the 4.99 level and if you really want to be a baller 9.99 and 20 bucks there you go see you on the next one